There was no collusion with Russia. There was no obstruction and none whatsoever. And it was a complete and total exoneration. Attorney General William Barr submitted a summary of Robert Mueller's principal conclusions to Congress on Sunday, March 24th. Here's what we know. First, according to Barr, Mueller found no evidence that Trump or anyone associated with his campaign conspired with Russia during the 2016 election. But on the question of obstruction of justice, Barr said Mueller chose not to make a judgment either way. Quote, this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime. It also does not exonerate him. According to Barr, Mueller found two main Russian efforts to influence the 2016 election. One, a disinformation and social media campaign to quote-unquote sow social discord eventually with the aim of interfering with the election. And two, a campaign to hack into computers affiliated with Hillary Clinton's campaign and the Democratic Party and then push out hacked material through organizations like WikiLeaks. Barr told Congress that Mueller did not make a quote-unquote traditional prosecutorial judgment on whether Trump obstructed justice. Barr says Mueller's report sets out evidence on both sides as to whether Trump obstructed justice. We've had a chance to quickly go through it. We think it's a complete exoneration of the president. Certainly, it's quite clear, no collusion of any kind, including the entire Trump campaign, which kind of raises the question, why did this ever start in the first place? It is imperative that the Attorney General release the full report and the underlying evidence. The entire unfiltered report, as well as the evidence underlying that report, must be made available to Congress and to the American people. The President has not been exonerated by the Special Counsel, yet the Attorney General has decided not to go further or apparently to share those findings with the public. We cannot simply rely on what may be a hasty, partisan interpretation of the facts. In the letter, Barr said he and Rod Rosenstein concluded that there is not sufficient evidence to establish that Trump obstructed justice. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully somebody's going to be looking at the other side. So it's complete exoneration, no collusion, no obstruction. Thank you very much.